right, let's move into Floyd Mayweather. Come on. He is charging Money Mayweather. $999 for a cameo vid. That is the most expensive celebrity on their site. For those that don't know what cameo is, it is a personalized video message from this app, whatever it is, and you you pay, you tell him what to say, you tell him who to say it to or whatever. Hey, I want you to wish my dad a happy birthday. Here you go. So you'd send the money over through this app, and then he records it, and he sends it back to you, and you can email it to your dad, or you can email it to your mom, or you can email it to your wife or whatever, and there's a bunch of celebrities on there. And most of them are anywhere from $20 to $100, right? That's all it is. Because they don't it's take like no time. There's a lot time. of porn stars on there, right? No, it's a, it's like Clay Travis is on there. Uh, I do a bunch think of there's band a lot guys. of porn stars on there. Like, yeah, there, I'm I'm sure that there are. I mean, this is like an easy way for them to yeah. make some money, right? So, That's right. Uh, ben said, who pays for that? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I haven't bought one. Well, but who, what do you mean, who pays for Oh, he's like, what kind of person would actually spend that money? I guess. Uh, I guess. I don't. I mean, I don't know the answer to that. Um, Damien said... <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, hold on, Michael said, "Finish the night and get her an Uber tomorrow." Absolutely not. Nope, Hell that's a no. that's a deal breaker. Hell no! If you can finish the night, man, I don't know. I'd, I'd prejudge you a little bit too. Now, oh yeah, oh yeah. Michael said these celebs have entirely too much money. Damien said, "What's worse, sleeping in a pile of crap or eating?" But man, mm. I'm gonna. I ain't mm. <laughs> I'm not even talking about that right now. Mm. Uh, Michael asked, "Is Floyd already broke?" No, no. I here's the deal, broke. right? He's an idiot. Let me let me read this. Uh, this he's this an attention statement. whore. We know that. Yeah, this is a press release on it. Floyd joined the popular site this week, and in true Money Mayweather style, he claims he is now the most expensive celeb on the app. So, what exactly does a thousand bucks get you from Floyd? Mayweather says he'll provide customizable messages, both for personal and commercial use, at quote an affordable rate. Some of the examples. Floyd says he can give birthday shout-outs, motivational messages, and even boxing tips. Quote, I want to be the first celebrity to make a million dollars on Cameo, Floyd said. Mayweather says the Cameo sign-up is all part of a partnership with Stardam, a company that helps facilitate celeb endorsements for businesses. So this is basically he signed on with this celebrity endorsement company and they put him into this thing, so I'm going to guess that celebrity endorsement company has already paid him, and then they are trying to get their money back. Now, it, uh, Michael said, you guys are talking as sober males right now. Yeah, we're, we're definitely sober right now. Uh, uh, there's not a amount of alcohol to no, make that work. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, Jose said, 50 cents going to clown this dude. Yeah, yeah, here's the deal. I am willing to bet that it will not stay $1,000, for very long, because nobody would be discussing this if it were not for a thousand dollars a pop. This True. became a massive news story because holy crap, he wants a thousand dollars to talk to you for a minute. I bet it does yeah. stay a thousand dollars. I bet it stays a thousand dollars for a little while. No, I think I bet it stays a thousand dollars as long as he's on it. I bet it never goes down. Really? Yeah. Do you, do because you think, I think there there's will... a bunch of rich boys out there that'll spend that kind of money? Now he did say that uh, that he will. I'll do tell you this, and if it's for if I can if I can pay him a thousand dollars and get a commercial out of it. Yeah, he said it was personal and commercial. commercial. Now advertising dollars, shit. A commercial is that's a lot of money. Yeah, if you can get I, him to I personally read know somebody who knew one of the mid level Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, my personal favorite Memphis Grizzly of all time, Tony Allen. To do a a little thirty second commercial for them, just a little blip read, was like five to seven k. Yeah, yeah, it's on out there. So, so th- I'm so now the only people that so you got a bunch of rich guys that would would do this because they don't care. Thousand dollars is nothing to them, but but you also have if he does it for commercials, now he'll he'll make a million bucks quick because there'll be a shitload of companies. Oh yeah. That that, that'll absolutely do. I mean, my advertising budget for my little business is, you know, a couple thousand a year. And I don't get nothing really in return from it. Tony Allen on Cameo, by the way, 80 bucks. There you go. That's my... Yep. Yeah. Believe that. Michael, I'd pay 80 I'd, 
here's the problem. Not enough people who know me would ever pay. Would ever pay 80 bucks for no, Tony no, Allen. The to person who loves the person's not going to pay $80 for you to tell me happy birthday. Yeah. That's the most like <laughs> ridiculously soft move I've ever heard of in my life. Yeah. That's, that's the crazy thing about it. it that's it's, giving yourself a nickname. Pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, Michael said, for the record, I couldn't do it either. She would be gone just saying someone somewhere would do it. Oh, yeah, somebody oh, no, somewhere. No, no, there's some. Well, yeah, there's We're some just saying that we wouldn't people do out there. We're just not one of them. Let's see. Debbie Gibson, who uh, you remember uh, Debbie Gibson, like 1980s pop star. Uh, she I is. I need to know more about her. She's $200. What's uh, she playing? Who was she? Uh, she wasn't in movies. She was like a pop star. She was oh, like, then I don't, I don't know. <laughs> ben said, get Floyd to do an ad for Winning Cures Everything. Nah. We we don't want Floyd. Bucks, man. Hey, yeah, but I'd I'd rather get somebody else that like I like, you know. <laughs> but I'm gonna bet most of them won't won't throw in a commercial part. I'm, probably, I, I bet probably it would be so. hard pressed to get a 30 second commercial from anybody on there. Uh, Damien said you would have to be a lonely person, 40 year old virgin style, if you would pay that much just to talk to a diva like Mayweather. You don't even get to talk to him. Yeah, they're gonna make a pre recorded video for you. Yeah, that's all it is. Uh, if you told me that. Sir Thomas Brady would drive to my house, knock on my front door, and slap high fives with me. I wouldn't pay a thousand dollars for that. Hey, Michael said I would pitch in on getting Floyd to do this ad for for when he cures everything. Look, if if we want to start a, a little GoFundMe and no, you guys raise a thousand dollars, but y'all gonna have to raise the whole thousand because I ain't uh, paying for for Floyd Mayweather to do it when he if cures we're everything. We're gonna ad. do it. We will. I'll pay for it. I don't, I don't, you know me. I'm morally opposed to taking money. I don't like raising money. Oh, I, I we, we ain't really going to do that. So it, I but, feel bad about that. No, no, no. We don't want anybody to do anything. Uh, now, as if there's far somebody as else like, cool on there that'll do a 30 second ad for a commercial, then yeah, let's scam Cameo. Cause I've, I've kind of thought about it and I just thought this is the weirdest thing. Who, like, John Calipari, 200 bucks. I guess you need. You need you need better friends than I've got. Is what you need. Yes, you need better friends and family <laughs> that actually think, oh, this person loves this guy. I I bet this would be a cool birthday present if he got this. Oh man, Brett the Hitman Hart is one hundred and sixty bucks. Uh, Michael said, "Let's find a celebrity to do an ad for WCE." Uh, ben responded and said, "Earl Thomas." <laughs> <laughs> I'd take one from Earl Thomas. I'd do that. Oh, ben that jumped into OJ Simpson. Look, I know, I know he's he's into some weird kinky stuff, but that, that's okay. That, that, yeah. I don't judge. I don't judge people for your for your sex stuff. Okay, don't. No. I can't get down with the shit thing, but I don't judge people for your sex stuff. No, you got that right, Mick if Foley. That's your thing, Mick that's Foley, only your eighty thing, bucks, and I just don't want to know about it. I want to talk about it. Johnny Damon, one hundred and ten bucks. Brett the Hitman Hart is one sixty. Randy Couture is only fifty five dollars. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's there's all kind of stuff on this cameo thing. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. So, either way, you can go check it out if you want to pay a thousand dollars for. Uh, for <laughs> Michael said Jay Cutler. Hey, I'd love to have Jay Cutler do an ad for us Hell right now. Yeah. Let's let's he's roll. He's in my this. local man. He's in Nashville. Vince said Case Keenum. Yeah, man. That's hey, all of these can are you, fun. Can you source by? People who are willing to do it for commercials. I have no idea. I'll have to dive that's, into that's it. That's all I care about. Uh, if they won't do it for a commercial, I don't care about them. Damien said, who would want a cameo from Charlie Sheen? I'd love a cameo from Charlie Sheen. Listen. Like, a, <laughs> I know he's insane, but uh, the two right. and a half men was good. Okay. So, either way. All, all right. right. If there's nothing else that has broken, let's no. see. It's been a nope. boring sports day. It really has. sports day. Um, Michael said Coach O, and then Ben said Dabo. Yeah, I'm I'm out oh. on I'm out on Dabo. Oh. Coach O, somebody, would be a lot somebody of fun. got me one on Coach O. Yeah, Dabo kissed my ass. <laughs> uh, I'd hang up on that fool. Is there anything that has broken lately? I don't think so. Right? No. No. All right, that is going to wrap up the show. You guys in the chat, you have driven the show as usual. We appreciate you doing that because, good gracious, this has been incredibly entertaining. So. With that said, Michael closes us out. He said, Tiger Blood, absolutely. I'd love to get Joe Exotic on uh, on, on the show, on an advertisement. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, Chris is out on that. All right. <laughs> Michael no, said, man. Michael said, poor old WCE. Yeah, poor old us. No, I think, I think we're doing just fine. We are doing fine. just fine. I'm not so, opposed to a commercial. 
No, I'm not opposed to that either. I don't know where we'd run it. I guess just on Facebook or Facebook? Twitter or whatever, but YouTube, YouTube. I guess. Uh, but either way, either way, with that said, you guys have been wonderful. We always appreciate you jumping in. We can't thank you enough. Make sure you are subscribed on the podcast. Go leave a nice review. Michael, we got your review. We've seen some other guys leaving reviews. We appreciate thank all you. that. So we keep really on doing do that. We appreciate it. We yes. really do appreciate it. Thank you very much for doing that. If you haven't, go ahead and do it. Michael said gig them. Absolutely. <laughs> And make sure that you are subscribed on all the different live spots. Share the show out. Tell your buddies about it. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. We'll see you again tomorrow. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.